Hey guys, um, for this discussion board, um, I decided to talk about the Sixth Amendment to uh, the United States Constitution and the Sixth Amendment to the Bill of Rights, um, which reads, according to the National Archives, in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and a public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Um, if you think about the road to revolution, um, this amendment or the background to this amendment is probably highlighted most effectively in the Boston Massacre and then later on in the Intolerable Acts. In the Boston Massacre, um, John Adams or after the Boston Massacre, John Adams um, defends the um, the soldiers, the Boston soldier, or the British soldiers who were accused of murder against the Sons of Liberty, um, and he successfully defends them um, to the point where they are not found guilty of murder. Um, they are found guilty of other crimes, um, but and of manslaughter, but not of murder. Um, and John Adams, for his life, for his entire life, was very proud of that act um, and proud of the fact that the um, citizens of the United States or citizens of the colonies at that point um, had. Um, still followed the rule of law um, and still upheld the rights of um, even men that they found reprehensible at the time. Um, and then it can be later on um, illustrated in the Intolerable Acts where one of the things that the British did to the people of Boston is to take away um, their right to what they would consider a fair trial through the Murder Act by removing um, the people of Boston accused of crime against the British government to Britain for trial, which would mean that they would not be um, tried by a jury of their peers. Um, and that was one of the things that the colonists, um, specifically in Massachusetts, specifically in Boston, found um, reprehensible and intolerable. Um, throughout you know, the United States, hist United States history, um, the Sixth Amendment has come up pretty consistently. One of the biggest um, instances of it coming up in um, the Supreme Court was in Gideon v. Rainwright, which was um, decided on March 18, 1963. Um, and in this case, um, Clarence Gideon was um, accused in a Florida state court um, and um, appeared in court without a lawyer. Um, and when he asked for one, they refused to give him one. And so he represented himself. And when he was found guilty and sent to jail, um, he appealed the court's decision based on the fact that he wasn't given a lawyer. Um, and so the um, Supreme Court in that case upheld the Sixth Amendment and that said that everybody um, accused of a particular crime um, would be found um, or would, was entitled to counsel and entitled to a lawyer. Um, and if they could not afford one, um, was entitled to have the district provide one for them. Um, more recently in history, um, or in current events, um, the Sixth Amendment has come up um, in um, a most recent decision in um, the Supreme Court, um, which was um, Betterman versus Montana, 2016. And in that finding, um, the Supreme Court just found unanimously that um, the right to a speedy trial ends um, when the guilty or innocent verdict, or in this case, the guilty verdict, had been laid down. Um, so Betterman was um, accused of a crime. He pleaded guilty to that crime and then was held in um, jail for 14 months while they decided his fate um, or they decided his punishment. Um, and he argued that that caused him major anxiety and major stress, and that was an infringement on his Sixth Amendment rights. Um, and the Supreme Court, in a decision written by Ruth Bader Ginsburg, um, found that he... Um, that the right to a speedy trial, that Sixth Amendment rights in general, ended at the guilty verdict or ended at the verdict. And so they could not be, a speedy trial did not mean um, deciding punishment, that that was a separate piece of the puzzle. Um, so in the classroom, I would um, use this as kind of, I think it's great to talk about debate um, or think about debates when you're thinking about uh, the um, amendments and also to think about um, 
the other thing that is important is to think about um, how these would apply to students' everyday lives. So especially when you're thinking about um, the Sixth Amendment, how um, this might apply to, um, in a high school setting or in a college setting, how this might apply to students' lives and how they might um, find themselves a part of um, the decision-making process in uh, with the Sixth Amendment. Um, so I hope that this was informative and helpful, and I look forward to talking to you guys next week. Thanks.